Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video we're going to be exploring our beautiful planet Earth if it were orbiting a black hole. In other words, we're going to explore the possibility of habitable worlds orbiting supermassive black holes and try to find out if it's actually possible. Welcome to What the Math. So this is Sagittarius A star, the supermassive central black hole in the middle of our galaxy. And it's a black hole that's about 4.1 uh, million masses of our own sun. Now, as you probably know by now, if you watched enough videos on this channel, supermassive black holes can produce a tremendous amount of energy. And a lot of this energy can also be emitted in different um, spectra of light. And also a lot of this stuff is emitted by the accretion disk as well. So there's actually quite a lot of a lot of energy that's being created here. And this energy can potentially warm things up. Now, a few videos ago, possibly a few months ago, I pl placed an Earth in a uh, orbit around Sagittarius A star. And this is actually the Earth in question. It is basically right here. The distance of this Earth to the uh, supermassive black hole is, I think, about 100 or so astronomical units, which is 100 times the distance of Earth to the Sun. And this is essentially what all of this looks like um, from this perspective. If we accelerate time here, you'll see that this Earth starts orbiting around the central supermassive black hole and is kind of... Um, brighter on one side than the other side. That's because of the amount of energy that's being deposited on one of the sides versus almost no energy on the other side. Also, don't forget that this system also has many, many stars that we can actually see by clicking on this button right here. And so there's quite a lot of stars at various distances from a few hundred astronomical units to a few thousand astronomical units. And all of them have different brightness that um, basically creates various amounts of um, warmth and heat on the surface of the planet as well. But we are just interested in the idea of having such an unusual, relatively warm planet in this region. So the temperature right now is about 15 degrees Celsius or about 14 degrees Celsius. And the surface looks like this. Basically, like a typical Earth. There's liquid water, there's atmosphere, there are even seems to be life here, but as I'm about to explain to you, it's not super realistic. So first of all, let's start with the idea of energy and temperature and why we have such a high temperature here. At this distance, the Sagittarius A star Earth receives a tremendous amount of energy that's coming off the black hole itself, and this can be in various types of frequencies, including gamma rays, X-rays, and just overall very, very powerful radiation. Now, this actually is not a good thing. This means that our planet here is being sterilized, is being bombarded with a super powerful radiation that is most likely eliminating any possibility for life, atmosphere, and really anything viable on the surface. It does actually create temperature and it does create heat, so in some sense this planet is warm but it most likely will not have any water, it also will most likely not have any atmosphere, and obviously any kind of um, Earth-like life. There might be some reactions that are possible here due to the uh, nature of these high frequency and high energy rays that are coming in to the surface here, but for all intents and purposes, life similar to Earth would be impossible here. But this planet would be in warm though. It might not have liquid water, but it would be warm. And this is only the effects of the radiation coming off the um, supermassive black hole. And mostly based on the fact that there's actually all kinds of mass that always falls into the black hole and produces this energy that you see that's being emitted right now. Now, um, this energy is obviously not constant. So depending on what falls into the black hole, this might either mean much more energy that's being produced and more radiation deposited on the planet versus almost no energy whatsoever when a black hole might not even have an accretion disk. In this case, this planet would actually become pretty cold. 
So, on one hand, yes, we can have a relatively warm planet here in this particular region of space, about 100 astronomical units away from the uh, Sagittarius A star. But on the other hand, this would not be a habitable world, simply because of the energy that's produced and the, en the energy that the planet receives. So in a nutshell, even if this planet was orbiting one of the other stars here, it would still be receiving too much radiation, too much really, really, really high energy rays, like gamma rays, that would just strip this planet of everything that would basically create life. Uh, but there is one possible solution to all of this. If for some reason, this planet actually had very, very, very powerful magnetic field. And on top of this, if this planet also had thick atmosphere that would actually be able to absorb things like gamma rays and x-rays, there would maybe still be a chance for some sort of a viable liquid water on the surface and possibly even primitive life. Also, if this planet was actually tidally locked to the black hole, meaning that if it was always facing with this side toward the black hole and with the other side toward the darkness behind it, there might be actually a chance for some sort of life on the dark side, assuming that the planet actually has thick atmosphere to mix all of the air and basically create warm air all over the place. But all of these are still hypotheticals, and as of now, a black hole, or I guess any planet around a black hole, would most likely not really have any life around it simply because of the tremendously powerful energy that's being emitted here. So this is actually just the first part of the video on black holes and habitable worlds around them. In one of the next few videos, we're actually going to explore another possibility for having an unusual habitable world around a black hole. So do come back tomorrow to learn something else. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Space out, and as always, bye-bye.